Okay, we're going to be replicating this Miracle Wonder Coil by Lifehack 2012. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start our stopwatch, which we'll keep looking at every now and then. So, as you can check off the time with YouTube, because this is going to be an unedited video. It's going to uh, go together as you see it. So I've got one block of wood here with some double sided tape on it. Nothing special to hold the coil. Another block of wood here to hold our motor. Um, just a motor out of the kid's toy. A bit of double sided tape on there as well. Uh, that's just a video head for another project. I'm just using the uh, piece of wood to hold a little toy motor. So nothing special about the motor, just a little toy motor. So uh, yeah, you stick that on there like yay. To start with, I'm just using this double sided tape. Nothing miracle about it. The magnets that I'm using are these 2mm by 25mm by 50mm flat neos. Not going to pull any out of a um, disk drive because can't be bothered and they would be no more special than these neos here. Two alligator clips which I've removed the plastic shroud off so as you can see there's no batteries in there anywhere yada 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 um, our bayonet spring loaded light fitting as you can see there is no batteries in that it is just a standard light fitting spring loaded for our globe with our batteries Oh, and we will need a globe as well. Any globe will do. Bob's your uncle. Alright, so um, I guess the first thing we do is we put this together. Coil sits here. Like yay. The left side is our north field. And this is important. This way I know which way the current is flowing from the coil. And the other side is the south field. Oh, that stuck to that pretty good, didn't it? Very strong magnets. Okay. Not 100% lined up, but it should be enough. So, uh, apparently now we have a um, free energy device. I'm going to line that up a bit better because that doesn't look very pretty. Get it down a bit lower. There we go. That's better. So, um, the flow is coming from the north field going through the coil into the south side of the other magnet, looping back around and continuing on. So it's unidirectional, so this will be a DC device. Now, this tuning antenna is to get the magnetic field flow and the flow of the clouds in the sky all lined up together um, which gives us our current so apparently now we have a uh, voltage across there so we take our UV multimeter switch that on so this one should be negative this one should be positive and Bob's your uncle we have 1.53 volts which is not very much um, maybe because I'm using a smaller gauge wire and it's laminated can't pick up all the static charge available to pull out of the air uh, interesting alright let's see if it's enough to run a 6 volt motor maybe very slowly put that into amps switch around to the 10 amp scale Okay, multimeter on this side, positive side to the motor, and then we grab clip lead, stick it on the other side of the motor. Oh, no, that's not very good clip lead. Maybe this one wants to go in here, and apparently it's going to run now. Well, be. Oh. 
it's running. It's really amazing. Unbelievably, it's working. Fantastic. Um, hmm. All right. Very, very interesting. So, uh, batteries in the multimeter, maybe. Oh, I don't think so. Let's take our light bulb. Oh, time. Five minutes thirty-two. Let's take our light bulb. Put it in our fitting and we'll give that a whirl. And we'll leave the multimeter out in case you think there's batteries in that. It's under there, apparently. If we touch this here, it should go. Oh, look at that. It works. It's driving our little light as well. Hmm. Discounts batteries in the multimeter, doesn't it? Um, what else can we do? Maybe there's batteries in the motor and in the light bulb. A very hard time getting batteries in the light bulb, but anyway, nonetheless, um, what can we do here? Can we just grab our multimeter again, and uh, I don't know. We'll just pull it straight across the. Uh, Motor on the amp scale. As you can see, hooked up correctly, and nothing, nothing at all. Hmm. So uh, definitely how it uh, was before. Maybe we'll just. Grab a clip lead and we'll uh, stick that across the two terminals and the motor should run. Right? Mm. Nothing. Very, very interesting. Uh, maybe the light bulb as well. Very hard to do this one handed. Get back up there. The light bulb is not going. Why doesn't the light bulb go? 7.48. Okay, so, um, hmm. Let's see if we can get a direct connection. This is going to be a bit trick one hand. That's just not going to happen, is it? So that's not going to happen. Here we go, I got it. Oh, there you go. Hmm. So what do you reckon, guys? A true free energy device because you've seen it on YouTube. Without any editing. We've put it together right in front of you and it works. Unbelievably, it works. So, we should be able to, once again, um, oh, hanging up on the floor. Uh, drop me clip lid.
I've just got enough to run the light and the motor. I'll stick that wire in that hole there. Okay. Oh, there you go. It's got enough there. It seems to. Um, it seems to get more energy. This is a big trick. Seems to produce more energy the heavier the load. Stick that in there, that in there. So now we have the light going flat out and the motor going flat out as well. That's just too cool. Connection there, I'd say. There you go. Very, very cool. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's it, guys. This looks like it's it. True Yibu free energy device. 1137, 11 minutes 37 seconds. And we're going to completely take this thing apart. Like yay. Remove the magnets. I don't know how much you pick this one. Take the coils off. And that's that. In actual fact, while well, it's all to pieces, let's hook it back up to the motor. See what happens. Without the multimeter, without the magnets. Theoretically, it shouldn't work. Now I've got the magnet stuck to the jump cable. Get out of it. Nothing. Nothing. Well, that's it. Oh, fell off. Yeah, nothing's going. There you go, you've seen it on YouTube, must work. What do you reckon guys? I reckon don't waste your bloody time. Cheers.